let's see how this is going. Let's see. Is my mic on? Yeah, we're good. We're locked in. Well, it looks like it's going okay. Um, I don't see any problems at the moment. Ooh, I'm the ghost of Christmas pass. Ooh. Um, is the connection good? We're good right now. Hello, I've been lacking on streaming. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I just it's what I do now. I don't stream anymore. I'm not a streamer. I'm not a streamer. How are you all doing? Yep. What are y'all up to? Thank you for the subs, people. I see you. Spooky, thank you, dumb ass. I love emo. Lacey, thank you. Thank you, Sky. How are you all doing? Uh, is my connection all good? It looks like it's fine currently, surprisingly. Thought it would be not good, but it looks like it's good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Live Laugh Johnny. Only here for Jake Weber. Roxy, thank you. Um, Doctor's Badass, thank you. Thank you very much. It was, uh, I feel like, yeah, we can talk about that. It's uh, My dad's a uh, baker. Wait, my, yeah, you were in a quarantine stream. Yeah, what's up? Thank you, Ava. All right, I gotta take a photo. Is my hair fluffed up enough, bitch? Let me see. Ooh, not liking that. But also, I, mm, we'll see. Oh my god, I look so ugh. ugh. Why does this look like fucking ass quality? Wait, I gotta take a better photo. And then I'll take a I'll take a little My camera looks like fucking shit, dude. I'm gonna get it right. Um Whatever, low quality images are in. Fuck it. Uh let me find that Twitch link let me see that peacock uh thank you uh bex and ollie rachel thank you all i appreciate you being here um i'm gonna try to film a video with carrington tonight before i leave for a trip that we're all doing for a video so um Look at the low ass quality image. Dog shit ass. Dog shit. Um moving one of these to cancel it out. No. Alright. Um How are you all doing? Oh, it's kinda hot in here. It's kinda hot. Thank you, Kayla. Alright. Thank you, Kim. All right, little little update. Um, it's been a minute. You know, I, I I slack on streaming constantly. It's my skill. I'm really good at it. Um, I uh have a few things to say. One, hi. Two, bye. End the stream. Just kidding. Um, oh, it's Father's Day. I don't really have much to say about it, but it is technically Father's Day, so. Congrats to the people that are doing that. Um, I don't really care, guys. I don't care. Um, I can't hear you. It's low. Shit, really? Hello? Hello? Should I turn up my mic all the way? Hello? Is that what you wanted? Was that high enough for you? All right. I fixed the volume. All right. That's better. Um, ooh, what was I going to say? This is a new shirt. Look at how fancy it is. I'm I'm obsessed elbows um, finger holes yo thank you my dad's a baker um, anyways what else do we got going on uh, the Sam and Colby video came out today with Jake and I um, did anybody watch it nobody okay no no I know you did it just takes a second okay um, thanks for watching it um, I seem scared in it I was playing it up, guys. I was fine. I'm a really good actor. I wasn't scared at all. Sure, I thought I saw like a woman. That is true. 
And sure, I was looking down at the ground most of the time because I was scared, but I wasn't scared. I was, okay, I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I did think I saw somebody. That bitch was scary. She was like, but also it could have been in my head, um, you know. Um, and, you know, maybe she was hot. Maybe she could have been my girlfriend, but I don't know. Uh, it was. I thought it was a good video. I was very happy to do that. And I thought I looked pretty. I had this nice jacket and it was big and I finally had a reason to wear it. So that was nice because we were in a cold area. Um, so that's good. And um, I got White Castle because they had White Castle there. So that was cool. What else is there? Um, oh, so yeah, we did that. And there was like bats too. Okay, the craziest thing I have to say though, there's a part in the Sam and Colby video where we split up. And Jake and I hear laughing, and I say, like, oh, I think it's, like, Sam and Colby. And then I, because I, I thought they went on this water tower that was next to us, but then I realized by, you know, seeing the footage, wait, they weren't even near us. That building that they went to was, like, on the opposite side, and you can watch the footage. They don't laugh like that at all. We, multiple times, Jake and I hear little kids laughing. There's no one there. And I'm not, like, you know, I'm not, there's just, like, no one there, so... Their dead ass like was laughing. I need to ask Jake about that. But we literally, that was when, no, you didn't hear it. It wasn't in the video, the laughing. It was dead ass laughing. It was real. It was, I swear. But I, I, we wrote it off because we were just like, we thought it was Sam and Colby just like laughing on the water tower, but they weren't there. They weren't. So, um, that was weird. And I need to ask him about that, but he, he definitely, um, heard it as well because we talked about it, but we thought it was like, uh, we thought it was them. It's lagging a bit. I know I saw, I don't know. I can't do anything about it. We have shitty internet. Um, I don't know how to fix it. It makes me stressed every single day. And, um, we all are miserable because of it. Um, there also was like bats, lots of bats, more than you actually saw in the video. And people are like, oh, Johnny has bat tattoos. He should like bats. No, that's not how it works, okay? I shouldn't like random bats inside of an abandoned house where they probably have rabies and shit. Bro, your mic's low? God fucking damn it. Shit. Shit. I don't know what to tell you. I don't fucking know, dude. God damn it. Okay. Better. Um. Anyways, though, that was that video. I thought it turned out really good, though. I was scared, I'll be honest, and I should have been, but I still did it, and we were there for like seven hours or so in the middle of the night alone. And these, it was, it was much more scary, quite honestly, in person. It's much more scary, and you hear a lot more things than actually gets picked up in the video. And like Colby and I heard a voice like at the end of the video, like I clearly heard a voice that was not there. And it, I, I'm, I'm not like, tr I'm not saying like 100%, I don't, I don't know, but I don't know. It was weird. Either way, it's um good uh good video. Uh I kind of want to do another one maybe, but you know, it's scary, it's scary. But maybe in the future. Um I wish people could also you know, experience the things that I felt like I was, you know, seeing cuz not everyone even, you know, Sam didn't see it or you know, Jake didn't hear that thing that Colby and I heard and stuff like there's certain things that some people heard or saw that other people didn't, you know. But Nonetheless, it was, a. Uh, I feel like I was, I was, I'm on high alert all the time. So I'm always like really like on edge and looking out for shit. Um, so yeah, maybe that's why, I over, maybe I just overanalyze every little noise. I don't know. But I mean, the little kid laughing voice though, I definitely heard and like, yikes. Um, uh, luckily Jake also heard that though. So, um, what else is there? God, it's hot in here. It's freaking hot. Um, I got a bunch of monkeys. So I this company that I've met before, we, I bought one of these for Jake's birthday. But um, we've got monkeys. Um, also, Trisha Paytas asked if one of these monkeys has autism in that one video. Not these exact, well, I mean, the exact monkeys, but not the monkeys. But you throw them on the ground. And from my knowledge, they do not have autism. <laughs> but But they are monkeys, so... Um, I got, I got, I got like so many of them, so that's very cool. And I also got a penguin one. Um, and this isn't an ad or anything. I'm just, I like that I got these because now I have them to throw on the ground, which is good. So it's very good. And, um, they do have butts. They do have butts. If you were curious. 
Um, also, for people that were not probably wondering, but I'm going to bring it up anyways. Oh, I can't even find it. Oh, no. Well, we'll get to the other thing in a second. Mm. It's been a busy It's been a busy week. I went to, uh, obviously, Jake had his birthday. We went to that. You know, I got invited. Um, I went to that. It was cool. It was a very good party. I was pretty sloshed. Um, and the next day I had like a little, it sounds very LA of me. I had my first ever like photo shoot that I set up though. I've never done a photo shoot just for photos and I don't, I don't have those photos yet, but, um, it was a cool experience. I've never done like something like that. So, and there's like prosthetics in my face and we're going to have like some Photoshop shit going on. But I had, uh, I had like, you know, bullet holes in my face. Thank you, Ollie and stuff. You'll see. Um, but yeah, the party was sick. It was very good. It was a good turnout. Um, I didn't vlog it. No, I just I don't I don't like holding a camera. Um, it sounds awkward. Uh, anyways, though, um, I wanted to bring up though. Currently, for the next two weeks, I have a jacket available that we've been working on. Uh, me and Damon. Um, it, this is the website for it. It's only available for two weeks. It's a more expensive item, of course, because it's a jean jacket. Um, this is also the mock-up one, so the 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 version that's your people would get is gonna be even better because we're like we're still messing with the sizing of like certain like things, but it's an embroidered jacket, and it's um I wanted to make something that's more like high end I guess and like more different, so this is my first time kind of doing something like that, but if it's something that you're interested in, it's available for two weeks on um the link that it is. <laughs> It's got like fucking a stir stir dies dark. I don't know. I can link people. Um, also, there's like pins that we have, um, which we're also making this card a little smaller. But that's the pin set, which is pretty cool. And um, this is the jacket and pin. That's why it's the most expensive version. But yeah, I also wanted to sell them individually because I know not everyone can get a jacket, of course, because that's more expensive. But the pin set we're doing for twenty, so. I don't know. Hopefully uh, people like it. If you don't like it, that's cool. If you do like it, thank you. And um, if you want to pick it up, it's only going to be available for a week. So I'll, uh, or not a week, two weeks. Sorry about that. Um, so I'll link that and stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool item. I want to do more stuff like that. So I hope that you uh, like that. Ooh, let me uh, pin that shit. There we go. But yeah, that's the link to it. Um, I love it, but it's really expensive. Well, I mean, that's just the reality of making a jean jacket, though. I mean, they're not the cheapest to make. A lot of bands that I've seen sell jean jackets for like 150 So, I mean, this is like, I don't know. I felt like it was the best, most reasonable, I mean, like range that we could do it financially. But obviously, yeah, I know not everyone can afford that. That's just unfortunately how it's going to be for any item I put out there. Not everyone can afford uh, me doing stickers. And stuff. That's just the reality of it. So, W Radio, thank you, Rock Generation. But um, but I mean, that's just how it's gonna be. I don't know. I mean, the same thing with my YouTube's items. Like, there's just that's just how it goes. Um, MCR had a leather jacket for three hundred. Well, to be fair, leather jackets are much more expensive to make. I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would love to do a leather jacket or something like that in the future too. But that would also have to be a more high priced item. That's just how certain things go sizing chart we're adding that it's not there yet um the fucking uh the pins too like i don't know i feel like the pins were a pretty fair price personally too because i've looked at a lot of artists that do like the embroidered pins and they'll sell one for around 12 dollars. so we're doing like eight for 20 i mean you know if you want it you can get it if you can't that's fine it's valid i have you know i i make items and that's just how it goes <laughs> like you don't have to buy it. I'm sorry if you can't afford it. That's just the reality of it. It's going to be how it is. Um, yeah. Did Damon do the description? Yeah, he did all of it. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ashley. Um, I'm trying to think of what... Um, what else did I have to say? Oh, yeah. My music video came out, too, in my song... Um, I hope you like it. I, I think it's, um, 
it's a good direction. It's kind of like the direction I kind of want to go with the new album after this one. Because uh, this album that I have done is a little more all over the place. But I kind of want to do more of a full band, like the song Vampire and Doctor that I've done. So obviously, you know, like I hear things and I'm like, I wish I did this differently. Or I wish I, you know, saying this less fucking monotone and shit. But I think the video is really cool. If you haven't checked it out, um, please do. It was our most pricey one to do. And I think you can see that in the video quality. Um, and Nas, who directed it, and the whole team, like, crushed it, in my opinion. And, you know, especially for the budget that we have. Because, like, even though it's the most pricey, it's still, like, on the grand scheme of things of what a lot of artists use for their budget on music videos, it's still not, like, to that level. But it's still um, cool. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I think it turned out really cool, though. I hope you like it. Um, I, I still think I like Vampire as a song more, but I mean, this one has just some really cool shots. Um, and you know, I like that it's square as well. So yeah. Did you keep the wings? No, I rented them. They're very expensive. It literally costs like three fifty to rent them for like a day. I was like, wow, how much do they sell them for? You know what I mean? It's crazy, but, um, it's doing pretty well. I think, I mean. Music videos always grow pretty slow for me at first, but then they eventually, I think, pick up. So, and like, I just like to make music. A lot of people judge my music and just say I'm ass at it and shit, which is inevitable. And that's valid. You can think that, but, um, I don't know. I've gotten myself to the point where I can fund my music and I just continue to try to grow. And I, I write all my music currently on my, my own. And, um, I, I do want to co-write sometimes, but, um, I haven't done that very much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to, it's just art. It's fun. So it's more of a passion thing. Um, so if you don't fuck with it, it's very easy just to leave a hate comment. No, I'm just kidding. Leave a hate comment, make a hate video. No. Tell me I suck now, but, um, yeah, it's cool. I hope people continue to enjoy it. Um, and we're getting closer to just dropping the album at this point. I'm pretty much just gonna maybe do another music video and, um, pick a release date and I don't know if I'm going to do like vinyls for it we'll see but I definitely want to do like maybe just a limited run of CDs at least um, vinyls just take really long to make but and I'm just kind of ready to move on to the next thing but the album's not even out so I should probably maybe do a limited run of them and just kind of like you know but that takes a while you know it might if I do vinyls it might come out sometime after the release of the album because they're going to take a while to produce and I'm still figuring out artwork. I don't even know what I'm going to call the album. So it's hard because I want to think of something that's like clever and fits the album but isn't, uh, you know, cheesy as well. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm also figuring out like a new merch store. So I haven't, that's going to be something that I need to work on. Um, the Flintstones, yes. Um, da, 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 da. What else do I have to say? I don't really know if there's anything else to say. I mean, that's kind of it, I guess. Went to some parties, drank, bleh, bleh, bleh. Look at social media, look at people bitching, <laughs> get drained emotionally, and keep it going. Um, but that's just how it goes. Uh, Gilbert disease. Yeah, that's uh, not it. <laughs> not going to call it that. Um, Sign CDs. Yeah, I, I would like to. We'll see. Um, call phase rug. Well, that sounds like not what I want to do. Not that, I, you know, I, I just don't call people just to call them, though. That sounds, I don't, that sounds random. He's a great guy, though. <laughs> but there's no real reason for me to call him at the moment. Um, future tattoo ideas. Yeah, I got a bunch, but it just takes time to get and everything. Um, but yeah. I didn't see She Loves new video. Did he make another one? Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? He's still trying to write it. Oh no. What did, what did he... I don't even know his channel. He's got fucking three. What did he make? Skincare routine? What are you talking about? My new house? Wow, he's really... My reaction on hate. Oh my god, he's still going? 
He's still going. He got crashed on me. No, I feel like I've seen this one already. Did he like re-upload it? He got a crash on me. I don't understand. Um, what's like? He's got 11 likes on this one. And they say, I think Johnny will appreciate your advice about mewing. The way you want me to mew? Uh, fine, but it's actually not reaction on hate. The theme does not match the video. I mean, you just how, what? Hyping on something, what? Dude, I don't even know what the fuck they're trying to say. I have no idea what the fuck they're trying to say too much. Um, this one, I don't know. I'm gonna over it. I'm gonna over it. No offense, but like, there's not really much to say to it. You know? He's, uh, he ran his course. Um, the cycle continues. Yeah. I know the cycle continues. Um, damn, let me turn on my mic more. Um, what else do we got? Come to Australia. No, not right now. I was thinking about like, um, touring again and like, um, I know I was like bringing up like doing a full band thing, but I think honestly, like if I were to tour, I might just fucking just do another like solo acoustic thing and just like get back into being on stage. And then after that kind of get comfortable with it. And then I can like look into like being full band again, you know, like getting into that. Cause I've never done it. So I feel like me, um, playing acoustically solo for my set, if I were to do something in the future would be a smart thing just to get me back into traveling and doing all that. But that's something that I'll consider once I get more music out, like with the album and everything, you know? I don't know if that many people would want to go to me playing just my fucking acoustic guitar and like having, I don't know if I'd be the, the opener or what, it depends on like who I'd be playing with, but um, could be a headline too, who knows, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I was just thinking about it more though, and I was just like, do I really need to play full band instantly or can I just like play my guitar again and like kind of get back into that world of being on stage? Cause that's a, that's a hard thing to do. Like go on stage and all that. It's a very hard thing to do. So we'll see. How do I do my hair? I could, um, show people that in the future. Carrington wants to know when you're getting off, uh, in like, 20 minutes 30 I don't know Where, Weird Paul rated me Yo thanks Weird Paul Thank you Weird Paul Happy Father's Day Opinion on Wait open for Mod Son That'd be cool I don't I feel like if I open for Mod Son though They would want me to probably do a full band thing Um But I could definitely see that in the future Um But currently he's got a tour lined up so Yeah um, you got one of the signed posters. Thank you. Carrington's watching my stream. Oh, I see. Real time reaction. Um, mm, you should go to Chicago. Yes, Chicago's a good place. Um, tour wise, from my experience. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to talk about on that part. I feel like I kind of talked about everything I was doing and what else was there and that's it and that's fucking it you know that was a little update on what's going on e so I do need to make some thumbnails guys I do need to make some thumbnails maybe I should like do some thumbnail faces real quick be like I don't know how to make fucking thumbnail faces, guys. And then I'm going to see them on Twitter. It's fucking cringe. Thumbnail face. Anything's better than nothing. All right. Um, what's up? What's up? Okay, Shane Dawson. All right, buddy. You're canceled. Um, I got to say... I honestly believe that Twitter and TikTok are the most annoying fucking platforms when it comes to the comment sections and shit. Like, insufferable motherfuckers. And I know that's going to make me sound like um, a whiny little bitch, but it's truly, truly dreadful. 
And you might just say, Johnny, just don't have those platforms. I feel like, unfortunately, when they exist, I still need to have them. But God, they drain the living shit out of me trying to understand stupidity. People just don't shut the fuck up or they hold people to a stature that is unbelievably just ridiculous. And they pick and choose who they want to hold that to that. And um, it's kind of just fucking annoying. I think um, people should just, quite honestly, if they don't fuck with someone, just move the hell on for the most part. But unfortunately, people love to talk about people that they don't supposedly enjoy constantly. And I've been there. We all do it to a degree, but... I don't know, man. I, I'll see people just shitting on me and they follow me and I'm like, why? Or they'll make fucking f a billion fake accounts just to talk shit so I respond. Um, and then when I do, they're like, ha, I'm a fan. I got you to respond. It's like, okay, so you're brain dead. That's adorable. So, you know, or people constantly like to indicate who they think is fake or toxic. And it's like, the reality is you don't know me you don't know any one that you are seeing online unless if you genuinely know them and even still like how deeply do you know someone that you know in person you know obviously everyone's got their alone time and etc or their actual soul um so it's always really annoying when people are like i always had a bad feeling about this person oh my god or like ooh, i can't wait for their downfall like shut the fuck up are you 10 years old and the crazy part is it's a lot of times it's like 28 year olds that are just fucking brain dead that are still saying that so god it's just insufferable um but that's just how it goes or people uh having to pick through every little thing that people do who they hang out with who they you know every little thing and i mean obviously that's inevitable but God, if I were to do that with your guys' life, I'm sure I could find something. I could be like, ooh, I don't approve of that. I mean, that's just the reality of it because we're humans. And that's just not everyone's going to see eye to eye on every little thing. Or, you know, people like to believe that um, certain things are more extreme than they are sometimes. So it's just kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. And, um... And this isn't me trying to be the biggest asshole about talking about this. Uh, it's just me trying to talk about it to a degree. But then I just, you know, we'll have videos that get posted of me saying shit like this. And then people will be like, oh, this grown pushing 30 year old guys acting like this. Oh, this pushing 30 year old guys having fun in a video. We got to make like fuck off. Weirdo shit. Just don't watch. What is wrong with you? Like, it's so simple. Like, are you a fucking fan or not? <laughs> Because you're acting like a goddamn fan if you're like obsessed with just dragging people down. And it's not even just about me, but in general, I see it towards obviously every person that posts online. Yeah. And it's it's even to the point where people of the same viewer base will attack each other. And it's like, oh my God. You good? What are you doing? Like just block each other, mute each other. It's simple. It's simple. 26 isn't pushing 30, I know, but people are morons. And even if I was pushing 30, let's say, that's good. I should fucking live to 30. Shut up. Like, I should live to 30. That's great. Absolutely. I mean, God, life's hard. <laughs> like, everyone should, like, ideally, you know, there's so many things that go wrong in people's lives. Like, fuck, man, let us make it to 30. Who cares if we're having fun or, you know, like, fuck off. Get over it. So... Um, it's just like, it's just fucking exhausting. I mean, quite honestly, and there's also this trend of, uh, Oh, you're, you fell off and shit. And it's like, I, I've fallen off before for sure. But like, that's like a fun thing that the viewers say now. And it's like, that's just fucking weird. Like the joke is that you're telling me that my career that I make a living from and try to, you know, entertain people from is not to the point that it's supposed to be. What's the joke? Me not doing good enough supposedly i mean that's I, I get that it might just be funny to other people but for myself i just find it like draining it's like that's not really funny <laughs> like 
it's it's douchebaggy it just is mm, and i know like they're saying it as a joke usually but god it's so annoying also like why do we live in a, a time where people don't just enjoy what they enjoy because they enjoy it but they have to enjoy it because it's relevant to the point that they have to say oh you fell off or you're not on it's like shut the fuck up <laughs> especially coming from people that supposedly like were never on <laughs> so i'm <laughs> just not saying that everyone wasn't it also just doesn't matter it just doesn't if you think life like that like if you think about life like that that's just like a really just not the way to think about it honestly because i'm not going to be forever on or whatever it's just not going to happen i hope to god i'm not because like it's draining <laughs> to you know so yeah but yeah jake posted oh he posted his video this isn't me trying to be the biggest dick either. I like to be honest about things and, you know, people will pick and choose how they take it. But, um, and I know I'm a, like a crybaby and, uh, yada, yada. But yeah. See full. Oh yeah. He, he posted it. It's a good video. Oh, why am I standing like that? No, try a little. Nothing is forever. It's gotta be something better than in the middle. 24 minutes. We a Cinderella. We put it all together. But I appreciate, um, you know, I get a lot of love too. So I appreciate all that. And uh, obviously I get a lot of cool experiences that a lot of people don't get. And, you know, um, there's a level of obviously like I'm grateful for the, the kind things. I'm not going to say I'm not. So, yeah. Thank you to my brother for being subbed. Happy Father's Day to you. No, I'm not reacting to his video because it just came out. I feel like that would not be fair to just take views away from that video. Um, <clears throat> anyways, though, uh, what do we want to talk about? There is this one online creator that I kind of want to talk about, and it's not in a negative way, but they are interesting. Um. play Fortnite. I don't have time. I got to film a YouTube video. Um, in a little bit. Hmm. God, it's kind of hot in here. She said it's cold. It feels like, I, I don't remember. I always like have like ideas until I um, go live and then I'm like, Oh wait, I forgot what I was going to do. But, um, yeah. So long ago, I don't remember when I mean, that might be the only thing to do is just react to that one. Hmm. The mic's a little low. How is it low still? I literally have it. I have it like max almost like. I just don't talk directly into it. Um, this is probably good. I would assume. There's a worm on me. I can't. I don't want to react to Sam and Colby's video because I feel like that would take away from their views and. I just I don't like doing that when videos just come out. I feel like that's a uh, just not the vibe. Um, but maybe in the future. I also I don't I don't I, I don't know. Like with something like that, like it's just such a big project and stuff. I don't want to like seem like a yeah. I just you know. Um. Anyways. Um, there's this one influencer that I've been kind of obsessed with. I randomly found them on the explore page of Instagram and, um, I don't, I mean, I, it's interesting to see just, I don't know, interesting people, I guess. And, um, this isn't a mean video, by the way, guys, this isn't me being mean. All right. But I do want to show you the world of the musician that is taking the world by storm. Ow, I hit myself in the face of the monkey. Uh, called uh, Pop Baby. I've been watching Pop Baby for about a month at least. Showed a lot of my friends Pop Baby. And um, I kind of deep dived a little bit into Pop Baby. I'm not going to lie, into the musician. But uh, this is uh, their social media. They do TikTok and Instagram and they make music. No, I'm not still sick, I don't think. Um... But I thought we would listen to some of their songs. They're uh, they're pretty much inspired by Kesha and Lady Gaga and all those type of people. Yeah, thank you, Carrington. Um, but yeah, let's see. 
Oh, I can't do it on this fucking thing. I need to sign in. I wish I was going to shout out Carrington. Um, I'll be back in, or I'll be off in, after this probably because I just, uh, but yeah, um, pop baby. Uh, let's just, I don't know what the fuck to click on. They have a bunch of music, obviously, because they're a musician, but I mostly found them from reels. They had like one that like popped off. Um, they made a song recently about Karen's, which is valid. I hope the audio is not too loud. I'm kind of nervous. Coming to Mr. Small. Oh, I don't hear it at all. My headphones are off. That's a problem. That is a problem. Sunscreen eater. All right. On Friday, July. Oh, this is a venue. Okay. Let's get to some of the music. Um, or we can get to the introduction. This one goes out to all the Karens. This is a citizen's arrest. They want to speak to your manager. So that's their new song, Karen's. Where are my Karen's at? Um, the outfit is giving. Capital C word. What else do we got going on here? Oh, this was a this was a very interesting video. They were just walking the whole time while talking. I feel like that was a. Maybe this is how I should promote my music, actually. In fact, my new, like, I should talk about Doctor like this. Hi, everybody. My name is Pop Baby. I'm a pop musical artist from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this is a song about the Karen that yelled at me while working at Dunkin'. This one. Ah. Ah. It was going so well until the fucking music blasted in my ear. Fuck me. Fuck. Same song. Fuck. Why is it so loud? Oh, my. God, ah, Jesus Christ, yikes, um, somebody said I want to rob this guy, don't do that, that's not very nice, don't rob Pop Baby, Pop Baby plays shows though, I saw like a show that they played not too long ago, and it was like packed, I don't know how I saw it though, it was fucking lit, oh, wait, are they, they don't have as many reels, what did they get rid of like some some of the reels oh my god they had so many those outfits are serving yeah definitely somebody somebody said this outfit is giving like a uh, panic the disco i write sins not tragedies which i could see this is what Brendan Urie's been up to. This shit's like a little out of sync. My my genuine question is is it a wig though or is it like real like hair though? I'm not like I've been wondering that the whole time. I think it has to be a wig. Too, there's a bunch of musicians like this on uh, Instagram. Somebody said he reminds me of Damon. I think Damon would love love to know that. I should tell him. Um, you could ask him. I don't really care to that level, I don't think. I don't think so. I gotta give it up to Pop Baby for rocking skinny jeans. Okay. This is a valid this is a valid comment. You look like you work at the movie theater from Drake and Josh, which is true because I remember those outfits. If you look at Drake and Josh, they do have the red. I gotta find this. I gotta find this movie theater outfit. Oh, this might not show that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's pretty valid, honestly. Especially if you mix both of the the kind of like more. I don't know what type of fabric that is, but I think that's pretty spot on. Well, shut up, fall down. It does it does kind of give off that. I know all these songs by the way. I've listened to the Spotify. Oh, he has music videos too. Oh, I should probably watch his music videos too. It's been a minute.
the confidence is insane actually because like i'm like over here like fuck man i don't know how to like play in front of a crowd and shit and he's like out there just like going for it that's fucking tough Up, fall down, turn it around. Actually, serving vocals, insane. I feel like, oh my god, this is what I do. Tonight, throw my hands up, toss my phone away. Shirt, rent, pants, time. We're living for. He's got the one glove, Michael Jackson kind of thing going on. Can you feel that buzz in your body from drinking all that Bacardi? We're just the life of the party. Disco night. Disco night. Um. Damn. This one is out for all the Karens. Um. It's Johnny in another universe. No, that's not possible. We're in the same universe. We're not. We're not the same. We're similar, but we're not the same. I promise. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Oh, he's got like vlogs coming out and shit. Oh my God, I've been like literally slacking. I don't know about the vlogs and shit. I just know about the music videos. Mm, 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 mm. Jimmy D, and I always think of Jimmy Dean's from the restaurant or whatever, or like the sandwiches. So I'm kind of like wondering, is this song about the sandwiches from Jimmy Dean's or is this like something else and I'm just not aware of? I'm, it might be about the sandwiches though, I think so. Let me look into this. I gotta figure this out, honestly. Uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, I feel like it has to be about these. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean should sponsor him and do a commercial with the song and him eating one of these sausage, egg, and cheese uh, things. I think that would be great. Fund the music video, Jimmy Deans. I don't know what else to say, honestly. So I, sometimes I just watch this channel, though, and I just see what he's up to. Um, it's just the reality of it. Wait, is this like a... This one has a crowd. Oh, but it's like three frames. This is like his hit, I guess. Oh my god, why is it moving like one frame per second? Oh my god. Fuck. The high falsetto is hard to hit. Why is it moving so... F oh my god, the frame rate is so bad on that though. I can't even enjoy it. The frame rate is killing me. This one's good. Filmed on base true events. Filmed on true events. You know what I'll say? The songs are catchy. I do get these stuck in my head. All the same. So shut up, fall down, turn it I should collab with him? Make make Jimmy Dean's part two. Ryan Ross, save us. This is Ryan Ross. Are you kidding me? This is Ryan Ross. This is where he's been. It's a rebrand. It has to be. It has to be a wig. Like that has to be a wig, right? I'm not. I'm. It also, it's a very light tone on the hair. That's got to be very difficult. But I feel like I see hair right there, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh. I saw like one show though where he's playing like to like hundreds of people that are dressed like him. And like with the vest and shit and they're like it going hard and it's honestly like dope that he's you know doing that but i was like damn it kind of made me want to go to a pop baby show so 
maybe in the future that will be the thing that I do when he tours LA. Um, cover the song, yes. It's a high demand for me to cover. Shut up, fall down, turn it around. There's a high demand. Jimmy Dean. I can't even hit that fucking high that he hits. Jimmy Dean. I have no idea. Uh, I'm wearing the monkey as a necklace right now. It's just what I do. Um, I don't know what else I should do. Should I watch? Should I watch one more thing of him? Should we watch one more? I mean, his last vlog. Let's see what his vlog is up to. Good He's using that fucking song in the background. He woke up with the hair, so it might actually be his hair. I can't hear him. I can't hear him very well. Oh, there's a foot shot. Um. All right, I can. Ah, oh, fuck! It blared in my ears, bro. What the shit? Ow. Um. I don't understand. I don't know what the fuck's going on. There's too much. I, I hate when I watch a video and there's just music blasting. I can't even like. I want to hear the real audio. I want to hear the real audio. I want to know what's actually going on. You know. He's doing rehearsals. That's all I know. I've tried to watch his vlogs, but a lot of times the music's too loud. I can't like get anything. Like he does a Q and A, and I'm like, you know, can't get it. Turn the monkey emo. Maybe we'll think about it. Po poker face, Lady Gaga. This is an iPhone. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please. Whoa. Fold them, let them hit me, raise it, baby, stay with me. I love it. Love game, intuition, play with Honda Space to start. All right. And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart. Holy shit. This is like some like Broadway shit. The O's are kind of dope. You can see how I watch Pop Baby's videos a lot. Karen, oh, the fucking music video for Karen came out? I didn't even know. 10 minutes? Holy shit. What? Why is it 10 minutes? Oh my god, it's a movie. Oh my god. He put so much time into this. There's a fucking uh, TV with him. Oh, I saw it. That's a different music video. This is a different one of his music videos. I've seen that one. I don't remember which one, though. Yes. Let's move on. No, I'm invested. Let me watch this. All right. This sounds like Owl City. Can we get to the Karen part? I'm ready. Checked into my room. Something. Something. It sounds like the Owl City song a little bit. Oh, we're getting some storyline. Dude, that shit's melted. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, he worked at it. There's a different music video. He works at a pizza place. Pizza, right? No, there's not. That's not true. Pizza's pretty much life. That's yeah. You see, look, hear me out. The pizza is like the circle of life. Correct. You know what I mean? It's true. No, I'm not following. Don't worry about it, cause you know, like, there's like this theater thing going downtown. You should, you should totally do it. I'm gonna be honest, the story is not um, keeping me entertained. I gotta move to the song. This is still story. Oh my god. Can we get to the song? Are we here? What the? There's still story. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm ready. Give me, give me the song. Starting you. Oh, it's one of the Karens. Okay, so this is the Karen lore. The Karen has started. I'm recording you. I'm recording you. 
Okay, here we go. This is going to get to the song. I hope to God it's not going to be blasting my ears, though. What is going on? I'm lost. I'm lost now. I was I was good, and now I'm lost. Dude, he got like a whole ass fucking place for this. Oh, she's the Karen. She's to be the judge, probably. World's worst boss director. Oh, shit. Can we get to the fucking song? This is a lot of... It's taking my time. You call that acting? Oh, pathetic. shit. Wow, just my YouTube comments. You call that music? Pathetic. And then they're just sitting there. Anyways. Ow. No, I'm invested. I'm not rage quitting. I'm in. It's almost there. I said you to Come on. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. To Fuck. 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 Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is a citizen's arrest. They want to speak to your manager to remake their fucking order. Respect the drip, Karen, because everybody's staring. Wear your mask. Whoa. Respect the drip, Karen. Wash your hands and cancel your plans. Cause you cutting the line is wasting our time. I'm sure that what you want doesn't even cost a dime. What's that, Karen? You say my car too loud? Next emo night I'm playing, I'm blasting the shit. Say what? Say what? You say your food too brown? Too bad, Karen, because your opinion is going down. This one goes out to all, all the Karens. Karens. This is a Respect the drip, Karen. They want to speak to your manager. I'm going to be honest. Out of all the Pop Baby songs, though, that I've heard, this is probably my least favorite. I mean, I like the idea. The video's, you know, like got stuff going for it and stuff and i like the fits and shit you know but the shut up fall down one i, I like the the poppier sound make their fucking order come down karen nobody's even karen wear your mask wash your hands and cancel your plans this one goes out to all the karens this is i don't know what the fuck just happened to the instrumental i don't know where this is going the citizens arrest they want to speak to your manager Hey. They want to speak to your manager to remake their fucking order. I. I don't know what the hell just happened at the end of the video. I've never I I've never made it that far into the song. Um, there's a direct. Oh uh, wow, it's a film. It's a goddamn movie. Well, that's a little bit of Pop Baby. Um. I personally think Pop Baby is going to take over, and uh, it's always dope seeing people just do what they want to do, you know. But, you know, I like, I like, my personal favorite is Shut Up. That song gets stuck in my fucking head. Uh, anyways, I just, I had to show you guys Pop Baby, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to do it. Pop Baby's fire. You get it. You get it. He hit that shit. Yes, he did. Subscribe to him. I don't know if I'm ready to subscribe yet, but I do have him built into my brain. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to a subscription, though. Okay? I just don't. Um, I just don't know, but maybe. We'll see. It's possible. Um, I feel like people are just going to think I'm a dick when I make videos like this. Like, I'm like, are people going to think I'm being mean? But I, like, I have been watching him. I'm like, he's interesting. I don't know what to tell you. Um... I don't think I'm mean, though. I think I'm chilling. I don't want any of my viewers to be mean, though. That's what I get scared of, too. Um, anyways, though. What else do I have to do? I don't know. I might. I kind of need to go film this video, guys. So I kind of need to go because it's 930. So I think it's like probably something I have to do. I wanted to do a longer stream, but I just don't have the time right now. Um, thank you, Kim. Uh, you like Young Blood? Yeah, he's great. Um, but yeah, I would stay on longer, but I I just can't. I gotta go film. Um, 
So thank you all. Sorry the stream was short, but I'll, once I'm back, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I have like a sessions and stuff coming up, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stream, but or if I'm going to be able to, but we'll try. Have a good one, everyone.